The yo-yo effect. The yo-yo effect is a name we came up with to describe the bodily and emotional changes you may feel as the transmutative process kicks into full gear. Cellular transmutation is necessary to accommodate your evolutionary leap into light, but since this process is physical, it has some attendant symptoms that you might as well get acquainted with. There will probably be moments of exaltation as you feel the rush of incoming light entering your systems. However, these are often followed by sudden crashes of energy, crashes that can be felt by the body, the emotions, and the mind as you temporarily swing back into the old reality. Do not mistake this for manic depression. It is only a simple case of ecstasy, followed by your denial's insistence on returning to the pits it knows and loves so well. The accompanying physical symptoms will differ from person to person, but any combination of aches and pains is possible including the discomforts of nervous disorders and fatigue may set in. Mission Control does not suggest you rush around to every doctor in town trying to figure out what you've got unless you have unlimited funds. Our advice is simple and about as good as you'll get. Be kind to yourself. This is an enormous shift. If you have trouble, just take a couple of light pills, go to bed, and call us in the morning after you wake up. For more information on transmutational symptoms and cures, Please refer to the MASH units under the mission, Deployment of Troops. This mission has an overview and an objective. However, it does not have a battle plan. One reason for this is that we are not in a battle. Another reason is that all our movements are directed by spirit and change constantly in response to spirit's requests. For this reason, you must also be willing to alter your plans in accordance with spirit and go where you are summoned at a moment's notice. What was true yesterday may not be true tomorrow. You must learn to rely on spirit for all your up-to-the-minute instructions. This reliance on spirit is the mission. It is also your direct line to mission control and all its forces. Remember, mission control is not an outside authority. We are a service, both internal and external, that strongly recommends you do not look to outside authority for your counsel. No one but your Divine Spirit can tell you your truth, where you should be, or what you should be doing. Spiritual self-reliance is the essential shift in consciousness that the mission is here to help implement. It is also the shift you personally agreed to make on behalf of this planet. We exhort you to be ready. Be awake and listen, because the troops of Spirit are now being deployed. Emergency Procedure in the event of an emergency, Mission Control has reserve forces ready to swing into action. We also have the ability to simultaneously activate all the genetic codes of our ground crew members and to instantly call you to your respective positions. As we have mentioned before, this is not a preferred course of action because of the shock of the procedure. Many nervous systems are not yet prepared to handle a sudden and common light surge of that nature and it might result in some loss of troops. Mission Control does not wish to outline the emergencies that would cause us to activate all members of the off and on planet units prematurely. We do not want your attention in these matters as your focus may cause them to occur. Therefore it must be sufficient for you to simply know that there are emergency crews on standby. They are prepared to assist the planet should the birthing process become too difficult at any point. As previously stated, we are here to assure this planet's safe delivery into the light. Any necessary measures within our jurisdiction and capacity? That is all we care to say on this issue at this time. Mishaps of the mission. This is another topic that Mission Control does not wish to dwell on because attention and the casualty list will only serve to increase it. All we will say on this matter is that all missions to dysfunctional planets have their dangers. Some members of the mission have effectively crash-landed and may not recover sufficiently in time to complete their assignments. Others have become so embroiled in their dysfunctionality that they have completely forgotten the point of assuming the condition in the first place. There is still time to rectify some of these mishaps. However, a few mission members are in serious shape and their prognosis isn't very good. 
Although only a very minor fraction of our ground crew is incurable, we would like these members to know that the injuries they have sustained are not an indication of failure in our eyes. We regret that there are any casualties, but it is impossible to assure total safety to all mission participants because such assurance would be a violation of the free will and the divine sovereignty of our mission members. Mission Control would like our wounded members to know that their efforts have been deeply appreciated, and much more than Purple Hearts awaits them when they return home. 5. Assistance. The function of this section of the manual is to help you remember the vastness of the community you come from, and the loving assistance the members of that community willingly extend to you all. We know it can feel lonely in the spiritual fast lane on this planet, but remember that this is only a feeling and not a fact. Please avail yourselves of the resources that are your birthright and know how much you are loved. This is Mission Control, on behalf of all the great forces of light, completely at your service. For an aid, throughout the process of your awakening and beyond, you have the right to call upon Mission Control, the Council Seats, all alliances, federations, and confederacies of light, the Ascended Masters, and the very kingdom of this planet for assistance. That is just to name a few of your resources. You are a member and good standing on this mission, and we urge you to exercise your rights. This is not only for your protection, it is the very means by which higher dimensional energies can legitimately gain entry onto this plane. As we have stated before, we do not invade. However, when a member of this mission has earned the status of Earthling by living it, and then requests interdimensional intervention or support, we can legitimately answer that request without violating universal law. In this manner, our presence will continue to infiltrate this planet for the purpose of bringing it into alignment with the greater universe of light. We hope this information makes it clear that ET phone home is actually very sound advice.